Okay, so now we're inside and we're actually in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2020. I'm gonna show you how I make a thumbnail using my video editing software. I find it's cheaper to just do both on one software rather than pay for two softwares. And I think I get a better quality thumbnail than you know what I would be able to make on a free software. And it's no fault of the free software. It's just, I'm familiar with this program and I'm not that familiar you know the free ones and rather than take the time to learn it and make myself better i just make them on here and uh with that being said my disclaimer is this is how i make a thumbnail this is not how to necessarily make a good thumbnail let's go ahead and get started i'm actually making the thumbnail for this video i go onto google and i pull my images out off of uh, just an image search that i'm going to use in my thumbnail and for this particular video because i want it to be bright and draw attention i am using this background right here and i'm going to drag this onto my timeline and then uh as you can see it showed up it's right here it's a, a png file which is a web page file and the first thing i want to do is i'm going to click on that which will bring up its options over on this side it's effect controls and first thing i'm going to do is zoom it up and fill up the entire page now you can see we have this big bold purple background okay so now that we have our background set the first thing that i want to bring in is uh the overlay and i'm going to say this real quick that this is just an image that i thought would be an attention grabber you know kind of a uh, almost like a, a pun i guess you could say we're going to zoom this image up to a good size and as you can see because this is about thumbnails i decided to use an actual thumbnail and of course we're on youtube and uh it says youtube on there so there's no confusion hopefully to whoever's browsing as to what you know this video is actually about okay so now that we have this image overlaid our, on our background as you can see we have this big white box around it we really want to get rid of and so what i'm going to use to get rid of that is if you could see on the right side over here i have pulled up color key and you can use that for deleting colors out of your background i'm going to drag that on top of this image and then when you go look back to your effect controls you scroll down and you'll see a little dropper here under key color and that determines what color that you're going to delete so i'm going to come over here and i'm going to pick this white block here and now as you can see it has cut out the thumbnail but we still have uh, a little digitizing on the side so what i'm going to do is come over here under key color and you can see the uh the effects for cleaning this up you have color tolerance which is how much of that white color to let in you can see right here where it's deleting some of the white in the tube of youtube edge thin that will thin out this actual edge and it will also thin this out in here and then you have edge feather and that will just kind of like uh, feather this out to make it less digital so what i'm going to do is just kind of play with this a little bit and try to get these colors set so because I feathered it like that, you can see how it's like more blurred and softer on the outsides. But at the same time, it also throws up this box on the outer edge. And I don't want that box there. So what I'm going to do is come over and you can see that I have my mask. This is actually for dropping a mask on top of this. Click the oval mask. And now you can see that everything except for what's inside the circle is no longer visible. So I'm going to drag this on top of my image. Try to uh, rotate it like so. And what I'm going to do is just stretch this box out. And you can see right here how I kind of grabbed the wrong part and it's all messed up. If you want to do a quick correct of an error like that, you just hit Control Z and it will undo your last move. Okay, so now you can see that we have our thumbnail actually cut out. And you can see just a nice feathered edge around this thumb. Now if you look on the top, you can see where it's got a hard line across here. What I'm going to do with that is I'm just going to slide this thumb down a little bit. And I'm actually going to use that as an area. Put text across the top just to kind of hide that so I'm going to highlight the thumb image again and I'm going to come over here to my position controls and I'm going to just lower that just a little bit and I'm going to slide it over just to kind of offset it where it looks like the first of purple rays are coming up from behind the thumbnail so what we need to do next is we're going to go ahead and add the text across the top of this I'm going to come to my controls here next to my timeline and right here I'm trying to scroll to it it's actually the text tool just a, a T right here and you're just going to click on the image and I'm going to go ahead and put my text across the top and I'm hoping by calling this how to make you'll see the thumbnail and you know it'll make sense to somebody that that's how you make thumbnails and what I did is I dropped the text tool and I click the select tool and I'm going to come up here to my text and I'm just going to stretch it out to fill up the area 
Now, with that being done, we don't want to leave this white, of course. So we're going to come up over to our effect controls again. And you can see up here where it says text, how to make. That is where our controls are going to be for changing this text. And I'm going to change the color of the font. So I'm just going to click the little boxes and I'll bring up color selector. And I'm just going to go with some uh, off the wall colors because I just want it to really stand out. It's more about what grabs people's attention than whether the colors match or not. Okay, and that was the fill color selection which is what color the text will be. The stroke will actually control the color around the outside of the text. Like right now it's white. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stretch this out to just make it more bold. Then I'm gonna pick the color for that as well. Actually, it looks good in black. It really makes it pop out. And then the last thing that I do to the text is I'm gonna come over here where it says shadow and check that box. And that'll allow me to put drop shadows. I will center like you can tell this control it kind of makes a shadow and this controls the position of the shadow so i'll fully center it and i'll just make it stand out even more and then i'll come up here and select the color dropper like maybe i don't know red let's see what red would look like as you can see that's kind of like maybe too much so you can just kind of sit here and, and play with these colors and come up with what you think will really grab somebody's attention i'm going to leave it nice and ugly like this and just see how it, it goes okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and add one more image to this just to kind of personalize this so you'll know whose thumbnail this is and one of the things that i use i'm going to go ahead and import that image in and what i'm bringing in is a little character that we had made on fiverr of myself and now that that's in i'm just going to drag it and drop it on top of the other two images and you can see it's popped up here what i need to do now is select that image and that will bring its controls up over here that's going to allow me to move this around really that's all i'm going to do for this outrageously ugly thumbnail the next thing that we need to do is get it out of the video editor in adobe premiere pro which i'm sure your other video editors have the same thing this has a little camera icon right here and that's for exporting a single frame and so you just click the little camera and i'll add my uh title up here i'll just call it thumbnail and it's going to go to my thumbnail folder where i keep all those click ok and now a copy a single frame of this has been sent to my thumbnail folder okay so that's going to be it for this little uh thumbnail tutorial on how I make my thumbnails in a video editor. I hope this helps you out and you know gives you some ideas of how you can save money on buying other you know editors to make thumbnails or having a whole separate program. Just do it with your video editor. It has all the tools you need to make a decent thumbnail. So with that being said if you like this video give it a like. If you like my channel please subscribe and as always I'm Steve WB and I'm out.